to run a loop. If I was to run this loop round, it would go all the way around and up and down. Um, and I don't want that. doesn't help me. Nothing here doesn't give me anything that I want. And I certainly don't want that. So, um, I will. Ha might have to take it at the top. But I'll distribute the polygons a little bit more evenly there. But I don't need it at the bottom. So I'm just going to hide the teeth. And then work out where this split will go. So... What we'll probably do is take it, in fact, no, we'll, we'll do it all the way to there, and I can see where this is going to go. And we'll stop it about there inside by putting a try ready to receive it. It'll go up and round like so. Now, you see there far too much in the way of uh, close, po closely grouped uh polygons not what we need so we're going to distribute those out those out a bit more evenly just by hand could slide the whole lot but i prefer to do it like so it gives you the control just even it out every now and then again just use a bit of a smooth tighten the corner of that mouth a little bit. Um, I did say there was another crease in the corner of the mouth, didn't I? So we'll put that in in a moment. I'm just going to drag these around and down because I'm going to put a split through right the way through there. See how far it goes. Yeah, not a problem. So this one will be the upper lip. I'm going to tuck it right tight on the lip there. You can see it there. And then I'll distribute it back up through the cheek, around the jawline, around the back of the head, around the back. Be very careful. If you don't want it to go all the way, then terminate it with a triangle and then clean the triangle out. But for that job, we wanted uh, we wanted that edge. That's given us a nice crisp edge now at the top of the lip, which is fantastic. And actually, I'll just while well, I think on, I'll just do an indent here as well. I'll just give us the uh, the indent that we wanted there. Bring everything back. I'm just going to subdivide it and then have a look at it smooth with the wireframe off. Got a bit of an error there. I think what I'll do is just save it. It's just a graphical error that will go away in a moment. Okay. Let's just check the eyes. I might just want to put one or two more loops in here. One in there, save in there, definitely gives us more to play with when we go in for high detail on the eyes. And then we can really start getting some sharpness to the brows. Start looking for any oddities. And if you remember I said I was going to do Uh, 
some uh, brown lines here. Okay, I'm not looking to cause myself any problems at this late stage in the game, so don't anticipate making any silly um, triangles or end guns that we're not going to be able to deal with. So watching what I'm doing. There you go. Put lots of detail in with without causing any trauma. And that gives us some nice creases on the forehead, the upper forehead. We can do two more here. one's a bit stretched. Um, probably get rid of that. But looking all right. Just a quick save. 